Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. We are in hot, sunny, and beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we're here to show you a very interesting Explore Yacht. If you're new to our channel, make sure you stay all the way to the end for the outtakes. Every yacht tour we do has an outtakes at the end. If you guys are interested in learning more about liveaboard lifestyle and what it takes to live on a yacht, check out our Patreon page. We are on board of this 65 bearing yacht built in 2013. We got a little sneak peek and it has so many cool, interesting features we're super excited to show to you. So we're on the swim step. As always, we're starting out on the swim step and it definitely feels like a ship already. <laughs> it's super tall. Everything feels very solid. It's a good size swim platform. And then you have the swim ladder in the center of the swim platform. You're seeing that over there, right? Right here, yep. And I like that it has the two equal staircases on starboard and port side. Um, I like that a lot, actually. It's got rod holders, so yep. someone obviously likes to fish and you can move them around, but there's some good spots for them. And uh, I like the name of this uh, yeah, as well. Right. It's got a good name. All right, should we uh, come, should on, I come on board? Come and on then, board, please. Um, oh, just one thing I just noticed too, is like these little sunk, um, hidden cleats. Mm -hmm. All around the swim platform. Right there. Oh, this part. There you go. Ah, cool. Really good thing to have, you know, when you tie up, want to tie up your tender at, at anchor. Definitely. Yeah. All right, should we go up? Go up. All right, welcome to the cockpit. We're in a cockpit as a kind of a typical style of an Explorer yacht. The cockpit is somewhat minimal. It doesn't have like this vast, big cockpit, but there's sitting area here. You can put some chairs around and obviously um, can do that. But I think the flybridge is what's going to be and more about space, right? It looks like that table could be extended um, to make it a little bigger. Mm -hmm. um, I see the gap in here. Yeah. So you can have um, a larger table for dinner. So if you, you want to have, have dinner, dinner down, in the back, down yeah. here, exactly. What do we got here? All right, so. That's a nice cleaning. I mean, it's a wet bar, but also could be a really nice cleaning station for fishing. I can definitely see that this is nicely set up for fishing already. Agreed. So it would be yeah. a good, good for someone who really likes fishing. Look at this massive storage. It's got some shoes and stuff here. Actually, this looks is it a cooler? potentially like a bait tank. Yeah, I think it's probably drainable. Okay, and there's obviously some spaces here as well. Yep. Extra oh, yeah. storage. Service area yep. as well yep. here. Same. Same here. Yeah, and then I see in. here we have our shore power cable reel, 50 end cable right there, and then that looks like there's a 30 below that. And um, your speakers. Oh, and what else? The shower. We're looking for transom the shower. for the transom shower. There it is. Yep. Nicely tucked away. And I mean, look at this here for a 65 footer, massive cleats uh, for the aft, um, including a cap stand. Fantastic. So what also stands out as soon as you get on board is the owner has covers for all these beautiful wood railings everywhere, which makes me feel like he takes care of the boat because that's not something you see on every yacht. So it's a nice touch when you're buying a, a used yacht, right? Well, on, on top of all that, like immediately 
65 footer when I'm standing here on the rail like you're standing there right now. The boob walks are really tall. I think it we're just is... not gonna hold for the planes because then we never get through oh. the video. We're just gonna we're just gonna go through it, you guys. <laughs> These are the uh, what's seaplane. It called? So the the, the boob walks feel like you're on a super yacht. Yeah, it feels really tall, kind of a massive, beefy. beefy. We haven't mentioned that yet, but it's uh, it's actually steel con construction this boat. Yep. So it's not a fiberglass boat. It is a heavy-duty, full-blown displacement yacht. Exactly. If you guys are into cruising around the world or dreaming about cruising around the world, this would be a very interesting vessel for that. I agree. All I right, agree. let's keep, let's keep uh, going. Let's keep going. Escape? Escape hatch from the, or access to the lazarette. Okay, got it. Oh, there's another transom shower here. Transom shower on each side. And go forward? Go forward, yeah. Okay. Guys, this is really I mean, comfortable. Super comfortable and, and also really wide. The walkways are fantastic. Super safe. Kids, dogs, just people that are really scared of being on a boat. Very safe. And look, it's all covered. Amazing. Yep. All right, great walkways, really. Oh, it's got that awesome half door, which oh, we I love. That. That's so great. You can just open half for some cross yep. breeze. That's a great feature. I can't wait to see it from inside. So we're coming to our Portuguese breed. Por Portuguese bridge. I mean, I like it. Wouldn't you like to be underway somewhere in like Antarctica on this? And then we get the typical negative style um, windows. Yep. Keep the heat out of the pilot house. Big fans. Yeah, really like that as well. Very cool. It's got some bunch of stuff there. You want to open? You want to open some of it up? Line storage. Line stuff. Yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah lots of line storage. Good. All right, and then coming to the bow. So there is a sitting in here in the front that is covered right now, but I'm sure you guys can imagine it. It's a nice bow, really nice. Why don't you do the bow tour? All right, do the so bow tour. Looks like a lot more to tour here. Again, oversized cleats for our, for our dock lines. Yeah, you guys might think I'm little or something, which I'm not that little, but like you could see Rico next to it and that really gives you perspective. Yeah, like that's yeah. big. Two commercial great anchor windlasses really good accessibility um i don't have a key for this yep <laughs> but here's the anchor locker um, which is also greatly accessible and a massive bow cleat in addition again for any kind of forward facing lines i mean you can put a table here and hang out here too and have, Definitely. Uh, have Definitely. lunch or whatever um, yeah i like it a Underway lot Underway is probably a really cool safe spot Look at that searchlight. Holy moly. You ready? Ready. Go to the fly? Fly bridge. All right. So another door to the starboard side. Yeah, another weather door. Seems like there's a lot more going on here. I think a lot that's of, also... A lot of, a lot of vents. Oh, okay. Access, oh, fuel, that's, look, fuel it's fields. all tucked away. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well done. It's just also kind of tucked away from the elements as well. Uh-huh. Like depending where you are cruising in the world. These make me feel like I'm on the ship, right? <laughs> like, just like real port. What is behind there, the galley? Yeah, it's a galley. Oh, the galley looks nice. Uh -oh, let's go check Yay. out the flybridge. Okay, flybridge. Entrance door here, really safe. If you don't have yeah. floating docks, great. It's really great to have this access, obviously. Same, same exact door on the port side as well. Up to the flybridge. I haven't been up here, you guys. Rico kind of went and looked up here, but I haven't been yet. So I'm exploring this for the first time with you. Holy Massive. smokes. Massive aft deck. And I like how this is just, which is pretty common on explorer type yachts. It's just kind of an open space yep. and you can just put stuff, whatever you want, like foldables and things. So you can always, this area could be completely put away for some serious weather if you have. So exactly. it's a uh, very, very common on this uh, style of vessels. So we have our spot for the dinghy. Yeah, so this is a, I believe a guess, 14 footer okay. uh, on the aft here. It looks like, I mean, you could, you could put, you could fit a big out dinghy on here if mm -hmm. you wanted to. I think, I think so, totally. We got the David right here, which is a 1500 pound David, I believe. I mean, you can go up a little bit with the shocks, right? And, and yep. actually extend yep. out if you want a bigger, bigger yep. tender. I'll just tow it. 
Yep. Oh, of course. And then there's a second a second dinghy right here, like an inflatable one with an outboard, just, you know, to for smaller cruise around actions. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the engine. Yep. Everything's covered, you guys. That's, uh, that's a really good sign. Below the uh, davit, when you raise the davit up, there's a big storage box for whatever you want to throw in there and toys. We have got two life rafts mounted on the outboard side, both sides. And then, of course, here we have some storage for stand-up paddle boards or kayaks um, as well on the outboard side. Storage. Yeah, lots of storage. All right, let's go up. I mean, this would be a perfect spot for a barbecue here, unless it is a barbecue spot and they just tucked it away. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, it does look like it. There's right. got some, some space. A couple here. more steps up to the flybridge. Oh, this is really nice. Pretty big space. Uh, you can easily have dinner here for 10 people, put some chairs here. Yeah. So it's, it's a really usable space. You've got this kind of a layout convertible area that could be used as a seat or a layout, which I'll definitely use. Nappy space, Rico. Nappy space. <laughs> it's a canvas flybridge, so you can have it open and, you know, have all the breeze and you can close it up when you need to, if you're in some rougher weathers and, you know, colder climates. Yeah, it's great. It's just one captain seat. Well, there can only be one captain, right? Correct. Just leaning out of the window here. Really good visibility for docking, even backing the boat in. Fairly easy to be done, like just with another person on the aft and giving you some distances and great visibility. This whole thing is just massive storage all yep, the way yep. in there. Super, super deep. Perfect. Yeah, like a crawl space. On the helm. So this boat is outfitted with Furuno Electronics and with multifunction displays. We have one here on the flybridge. We have a Simrad Autopilot um, on this one here. Got our electronic engine throttle and shifter controls right here. These are the John Deere engine monitors, which we have two because it's a twin stereo control, bow thruster and stern thruster control, which is both an electric side power unit and a searchlight remote. And then also I like that they left the center spot open here so you can really walk all the way forward and see what's going on on the foredeck. I think that's a good, good choice. How's visibility back? <laughs> So the trick question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. What do you say? Sh check out the inside, the interior? So curious to see the interior. You know, again, like 65 feet, like this seems a lot larger than the 65. It's a lot of volume for the size. Yeah. All right, let's check out the interior. Got the serious door here again. Watertight for sure. Yeah, watertight weather doors. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Oh, I like it. It's different. It has a very unique vibe, right? Yep. It's got that um, kind of a explorer yacht feel, but almost like a troller colors and just that kind of a lighter vibe. It feels really inviting. It's very yachty. It's yeah. not necessarily looking like a trawler, I, I think. I agree. It's so crazy when you walk in and right next to the door, there's like, what's that? You just immediately start exploring. No day head. Nope. Storage. Oh, storage. Yeah, and I guess this AC unit is probably behind here. That comes in handy. It's also nice to have it on the go anywhere yacht because you will also have situations when you have big jackets and you know heavy clothing. So it'd be good to have a space right by the entrance to be able to put that away. Yeah. Okay, so salon area is very good size. I'll give you guys perspective. Nice table. Can definitely see having some good dinners here. Yeah, I like it. Big windows. Mm -hmm. Another really interesting thing that they've used up all the space here. All of these have storage underneath. Okay. You guys know how I feel about that. So it's just like any extra stuff, blankets, outerwear that maybe once you, you know, cruising in the warm waters, you can put it all away. Amazing to yeah, have. Yeah, got your TV right there. All your, and yep. oh, that's your for the TV lift, I yep. guess. Yeah, exactly. So the t TV disappears into this space C correct. if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. And then it's open to the galley, which, you know, makes it, and it can be open to the pilot house too. Which is a bit unusual, I feel like. You know, a lot of the times you have that enclosed yep. helm, 
uh, area and uh, here it actually can see everything when you're at the helm. You could tell that whoever built this yacht really wanted to be an owner operator type of feel. Yeah. So you really don't need to have a lot of crew and you know, you're the one really um, piloting it. I really like that they choose that stainless steel, you know, instead of having a wall there, uh, actually having it open. Looks really, makes it, makes looks, it feel a lot yeah. bigger. And looks really also kind of modern, gives right. it that um, industrial feel almost. Yeah. So look at this you're gonna like. Yeah, now we're talking. Cool, huh? Well, that's great. Good yeah. wine storage. So that's just wine storage, but you also have a wine cooler as we come up. All right. There's tons of storage here, you guys. I'm not gonna open it all, but yeah, like yeah, every yeah. little bit of space is used, as it's you can utilized, tell. right? Yeah. So we have a wine cooler Proper here. Proper wine cooler. And then come on up. So that's an almost like part of the galley already here, huh? Yeah, Your it is. Countertop right here. Yep, it is part of the galley. Okay. Nice. There's storage everywhere. Yeah, they really do. Can did. you open that again? Sakapa. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Like that wrong. Oh, this is all storage here too. They really did a great job on on utilizing every bit and pieces of storage. So a drawer fridges here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Also, a microwave oven, a real size oven here. Hello. <laughs> Talks to you. Huge storage is everywhere. Yeah, massive. And drawers where Rico is. I mean, there's just storage everywhere. And, and another thing I just noticed, um, this boat apparently has both 110 and 220 outlets. It's ready for world cruising. Four burner cooktop. For some of you that are always asking, how is this stuff staying on the stove? Here it is. You can actually see it here. It's yeah, implemented. Yeah. You can remove it. You just, yep. you know, move it over it's and keep your pots great. and pans in place. Wow, check this out. That's some proper pots and pan storage. I oh, like it. Oh, you look at this here. I didn't even realize that. That's a vent. This is a vent. Yep. And there is the vent motor and it blows it overboard. I like this nice. whole thing, really cool. Maybe I should be opening all the stuff in the galley. I feel like there's more, more cool surprises here. So some storage here. There's a drawer or like a little, yep, it's a drawer. Yep. All the lids are in there. Yep. We've got a trash compactor. Yep. Uh, some of you guys asked us how that works. Uh, basically, I mean, I know it's kind of self-explanatory, but it just gets compacted and you know, into a smaller thing. And when you're cruising um, offshore for a while, it's a really nice feature to have because yep. trash really becomes an issue. Where do you store it? Huge sink. <laughs> really deep sink, huh? Great. Look at, there's just pieces everywhere. Yeah, they really nice. utilize all the, you know. It's like a uh, spice rack here. Cavities they have. Yeah, and, they did a really and, uh, good job, you guys. I am impressed. Yeah, I could survive on this for a massive, while. Massive, massive countertop. Ice maker, dishwasher, full size, more storages. Yeah, this it's, is a it's great. great galley. It's got all a right. great view all around. And if you really don't want to see somebody cooking or you really don't want to be part of this or a I'm joking. The big reason at night, if you want to be making some food and stuff here and someone is piloting at night, would be very nice to be able to have this space dark. Correct, Rico? Correct. So, bye-bye. Oh, fantastic. So this comes up and then there's a pocket door right there and you have your uninterrupted long distance cruising space. Bye-bye. All right, let's check out the pilot house. You miss me already? Okay, come on in. That is a large pilot house for a 65 foot boat. Yeah. Nice little sitting area behind the captain's chair. Yeah, I'm wondering if this could be converted. I think if I would purchase it, I would convert it to be able to have this as a little bed. Crash, crash pad? Yeah, I mean, it's easily done. So I think that would be totally. a cool, cool feature to have. And then also what's really cool here, they went with the black ceiling. So you really at nighttime, you have no reflections of lights and whatever. Yeah. I mean, that really makes sense. It's great. I'm loving that kind of a captain, you know, space, but it's really an office. Like just if you're using this as your liveaboard, what a great office. Yep. Right. It would be such a nice little space here. You can set up, you've got your drawers and Love it. Well, there's a lot of hell to go through. You yeah, I mean hold, this boat. Hold is... on, before you go there, 
I want to point out that they also utilized everything they could here and there are tons mm -hmm. of spaces to put all, all your stuff. flags, all yeah. your navigation aids, like all that stuff is nicely has a everything has a space, everything has a spot. We Survival can. equipment underneath there and then we got our builder's plaque right here. Love it. So you have life jackets underneath um, the cushions there, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all of that and uh, look there's also storage here. Wow, this is insane. Massive storage. Now, I mean if you're world cruising and this is your home you're gonna need storage. You're gonna need to be able to put things away also on like a four season base. You have all these different things you're using during different times of the yep, year and yep. different waters. So then we have our um, weather doors here. Yeah, these are cool, let's show Which them. we mentioned um, earlier that they- I mean, awesome. Kind of like split so they can open half, half. Great to do cross breeze. I feel like you would not mind um, sitting in that captain's chair no. while you, no? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Um, okay, if you don't want to, stereo. then I'll sit in it. So, I mean, it's a massive, massive cockpit. Kind you know, speaking of world cruising, this <sighs> boat is well equipped to do some serious world cruising. This is um, a little overwhelming for a, a 65 so foot just, yacht. Let's just start overhead up here. We have bilge pumps here, as well as firefighting emergency pumps all on this panel. We do have our light switches all on this panel. The flare camera monitor right there, rudder angle indicator. I mean, this goes on and on and on. Furuno instruments. Then we have our all our monitors there for the batteries. All our batteries on board, the monitors are right there. Everything on this boat is without, about redundancy. Everything comes in two. Look at the screens. Yeah, we have we have three multi-function screens. Like one is actually over there on the side table. And we have two multi-function screens here on at the helm. Another one over there, which you can dedicate for cameras or whatever you want to put on there, like we have on this one here. So you guys can see that. You get surveillance cameras all around, engine room, lazarette, battery charger. So everything crucial you want to see, you can see right here at the helm. And he also um, has night cameras as well. Correct. Night vision. Um, so then we have our remotes here for the Furuno electronics as well as another one over there for the redundancy. The board computer is right here. Engine shift and throttle controls are right here. Bounce turn thruster control. Then here are the John Deere engine monitors. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> look at this that. keeps going. Look at, look at all the, the, the windshield wiper switches and washers. Um, well, as there, you can there are see, a lot of them. There are a lot of them. So they're all individually uh, controlled. Pretty freaking cool. A remote control as well for the thrusters for bow and stern. If you want to captain the boat from upstairs, you know, upstairs you have a two. Searchlight control right there. Uh, two VHF radios are right there. Actually, it's three. Dang. We got one two three vhf radios just in case you need them and then there's all, oh, all we got more breakers there. down there all right it doesn't stop and then we got all our breakers here for the electronics for courtesy lights for any of the other systems um all the breakers are just right here easy to get to remote controls for the two own and generators which are down in the engine room yeah and I'm, i forgot probably half of it it literally feels like owner operator every like Everything is at your fingertips, and if you got a troubleshoot and everything, like it's all right here. It's pretty cool. It definitely feels like somebody built it to their desire, and yeah. as Rico said, like almost overbuild it because it's just so much, so many systems. But how amazing is that for the next owner? Like everything on this boat is has some kind of redundancy. Um, I mean, that's you know, what you it want. All comes in twos for a sixty-five foot boat. It's wow. I'm well, amazed. this helm doesn't feel like sixty-five footer. No, I mean, this This could be easily yeah. 120 foot uh, well, you super yachts. You guys yacht. seen us tour like 130, 140 yeah. foot super yachts and it's got basically the same same yeah. helm setup. So in, it's impressive. In case you guys are interested what the water temperature in Fort Lauderdale is right now, it's seven. Uh, it's 27.1 Celsius. Oh, that's warm. Dang. All right, let's All right. go. Keep All going. All right, a lot more to see. Sorry, this is taking us a while here. Yeah. Check out the state rooms. This staircase is really great. There's something here. Uh -huh. Audiovisual stuff, yep. All right, so let's check out the port side first. One of the guest cabins. So this is really a double bed here. So this is kind of an, an extra spot, but 
you know, you have a couple, you can definitely sleep here. And then here we have drawer uh -huh. and little makeup mirror station. Yep. So if you have kids with you, you're homeschooling, they actually have a work, a little working, you know, space here. Or if you invited another couple to cruise with you, you have a nice little getting ready area. These are cool. I always like these. I think they're kind of nostalgic. Yep. <laughs> like really cool. So then we also have, oh wow, it's tall. Wow. Oh, like cedar line. Mm -hmm. It's got drawers here mm -hmm. as well. They're obviously using it for storage, but yeah, yep. this is a great closet. Lots of storage space actually for the Love size it. boat. Coming into the ensuite. So it's a three stateroom all en suites. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going in the shower again. Oh, this is nice. It's great. Look, Rico, it's got your uh, oh, nice. favorite. Uh, towel, towel drying. Right? Yeah, that's on our uh, future build boat list. Yeah. Would like to have those. Oh my God, look, look how close we are actually to the waterline. Yeah. It's literally right there. Yeah, this is a nice, nice en suite. Yep. It's got little spaces here for your shampoos and stuff like that. And One and a half person shower. Yeah. No, I think it's a two-person shower. Oh yeah, actually it is. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna argue I must, about- I, I must yeah. be getting bigger. And you must be getting smaller than we can fit. Okay, here, look. There's a- Medicine. Medicine cabinet here. Yeah, great. Yeah, all you need for a guest cabin. Safety. All right, let's keep going. Now we're gonna go starboard. This one is kind of like a VIP, I would say. Yeah, that's great. Wow, this is really nice. What about <laughs> tons, tons of headroom? Too. I can't even reach this, you guys. Yep. Wow. Yeah, if you're 6'5", no issues here at all. If you're 6'5", we found you a yacht. <laughs> Good size bed. Same thing, little working area. You can put a like, little poof, you know, chair here. So we also have storages all the way up, up on top. Yep all over the place nice and this looks like a a big closet really good size closet mm -hmm. yeah nice is there and more on this side i wonder if this is a washer and dryer you think Let's see if i'm right yeah oh there it is yeah yeah oh that's Seven great units that definitely works cool great and then we go into the ensuite this one looks different Definitely a little different style. A little larger. Yeah. All these positions, all these curved wood. Oh, they're cool. Look at that. Yeah. Kind of like curved. Okay. Really cool. Yeah. Um, I guess we do the same thing as we always do. Very tall. I mean, I don't even know. Like, does it translate how tall this is? Yeah. I can't reach the ceiling. Really good size. Pretty and awesome. more storage over there as and well. There, yeah, and there's more storage underneath as well. So there's, On all these drawers too. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty for long long cruising. Really cool. Yeah, it's almost, nice like a, almost like a second master. Really cool. All right, let's check out the master, yeah? Yep. All right, all the way forward. Watertight door. Yeah, Bulk, it's uh, com com compartmentalized, right? Yep. So you can close this off if you have an issue in the bow. Yep. So you can shut this off. And then you have your regular door um, as well. You guys, this feels so grand and Massive. tall. Wow. The headroom in the bow like this is is rare. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's a certain style of a yacht and it's just, wow, really cool. Full walk around bed. I love it. It's a great master. So right now it's all closed in, but you have portholes here. Yep. With even some, some spaces and some storage. God, I can see all the storage already, nuts. Okay, so we have all of this. Not gonna open everything, it's a lot. So that, I'm gonna open one of that. There's one more here. Oh, that's a you lot of storage. Yeah, look how deep it is. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's great. So matching on the same, on the other side. Yeah, more there. Yeah, this one not, not as deep, but plenty to use. Just curious if we've got, yeah. They've built it like I would build it. Utilize they, the storage yeah, space. Yeah, they've definitely put in as much storage as possible because you will need it on the long passages. Full hanging locker here. Oh, great. Same on the other side. So it's really his and hers yep. or hers and hers and his and his. And also check this out. Oh, that's huge. Huge. Wow, additional storage. storage. 
Yeah, so that's Massive. good for like long-term provisioning, just like your extra equipment, things that you don't use all the time. Yeah, fantastic. And we have an ensuite. Okay, it's about the same. Oh, same like yeah. on the on the other same size. second master, I guess, or VIP. Yeah, it's really a really um comparable VIP for sure. Really similar. What about the shower? You really make me go in every shower. I mean, is it necessary? Not every, but almost oh. every. Hello, there's a full length mirror. Full size mirror. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's not a huge ensuite that sometimes you would expect out of a master, but the master itself is massive. Yeah. So I think you kind of give up a little space, but that's it's plenty. I don't think you need more than this actually. Yeah, it to works. be honest. For sure. And then more storage behind. Really? For like linen or whatever you want to put in there. Yeah, that's oh, great. deep storage. As deep as the showers. Wow. Yeah, really cool. Love it. I want to see the engine room. Oh, well, let's get keep moving backwards. All the way from the bow to all the way to the stern. Okay, so let's go all the way back. The headroom is incredible. Incredible, right? Okay, so we have all our... Oh, electrical. Look at that. Well, this is great. Uh-huh. Probably. Switch, switch overs Look, right here, more breakers, to, access, it, access to all your connections, uh, connectors and all your chunks. I mean, that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Look at this here. Oh, wow. All the battery chargers and inverters, all reachable right here. You have to crawl in the space if there's an issue. You can just go and look immediately and see what's up. Look. Well, as this here, all our battery switches just mounted into the ceiling. I've Freaking never seen amazing. that before, have you? No, that's a new one for me. Okay, this is gonna blow you away as well. Ready? Yes, finally. Finally, a shipyard who actually realizes that changing batteries is a pain in the butt when you can't get to them easily. Why mounting them behind engines where you can't get to them? All the breakers of the all the ship systems, everything high and low voltage, everything right water. here. Also con uh, remote controls for the two water makers. So we have two Village Marine water makers on this boat here and um, each has 800 gallons per day capacity. Per day? Per day. I'm like, oh, of course you have two. Look what's behind you. I know. Oh, just great. Yeah, that's great. Just great. Because upstairs you only have the drawer, the drawer of fridges and freezer. This is great. So this is fantastic. So that takes us, this is our starboard side. This takes us into the crew quarters. Oh, that's kind of cute. Even as a, as a little, si oh, there's a little kitchen that they kind of like in here. It, it even has a little stove. So if you really just watch every time of the day, want to just make a little something, you know, you can you definitely yep. have ab ability. And this would be normally closed anyways, yeah. right? As, as a crew area. So you have all that space uh, in front here, that fridge here, which you can probably put some stuff in there as a crew, or as a captain. For this size of a yacht, I feel like um, if it's an owner operator, you maybe have a deck hand, you know, just yep. one person, yep. or you'll have a captain. For one crew, it's fabulous. Two crew, it's a little bit tighter, but Still, we've toured some other yachts, you guys, some super yachts that had smaller crew quarters. So oh, yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Got drawers everywhere. You've got, you know, space up here too. So, you know, I'm gonna respect the privacy of the crew that's on board. So all of that. And then you also have a wet head, which I'm gonna switch with you and you go check out. So I guess your sink is the one which you have here uh, where you would wash your teeth and so on. And then um, you have a wet head right here. Plenty, plenty of space. Engine room? Engine room. Let's do it. This is making me feel like there's going to be some serious engines in there. Proper watertight doors. There's air conditioning running in there, but it's actually pretty quiet, so we'll just let it run. All right. So, you guys ready? Oh, an air-conditioned engine room. I love it already. Wow. Woo! That is great. It feels good in here. Yeah. What an engine room. I mean, wow. Look at all this. It's clean. Where do we start? You look excited. Yeah, it's a cool engine room. Okay. Again, 65 foot yard. I mean, how many 65 foot yards you have an engine room like this with a massive lazarette like this behind? Air conditioned. Everything in twos again. For everything, there is redundancy. We have two water heaters, two fresh water pumps, two water makers. Two main engines. <laughs> and they're John Deere, huh? They're John Deere's. And these are commercial grade, heavy duty, long 
range engines so you get easily easily 20,000 hours out of these before you would have to start thinking about rebuilding if you treat them well and if you do the engine service and services all in time center midship we have two generators we have massive alternators additional alternators on the main engines so you can actually charge all the batteries with your supersized alternators over here we have all the air condition systems, the chiller systems right there. Great storage for tools, spare parts and so on. Then we have all our switch over valves right here for the, um, the manifold for the tanks. It's just a great laid out boat. Workspace here, little vise over there, little workspace over here. This engine room is insulated with a four inch insulation and then the aluminum board covering it all up. Moving back towards the transom. Hello! There we go, all the way to the stern. Oh, that's the hatch we saw from above, which um, goes out into the cockpit. I can actually stand here. It's kind of slanted here, so yep. it's higher and this is lower, but like- Well, this I is the can... bottom of the boat. Yeah, but I can stand here. This is, oh, five, seven, look yeah. you guys, this is So cool. lots of more storage here. Look at these. Two massive top One loading on freezers. Side. I mean, they're really humongous. Wow. Anyone want a steak? Wow. Then we have a dive compressor mounted over there on the port side. And the dive um, bottles here, which is what is nice about it. If you open this up, you can just, you know, lift them out. Yep. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. What I else? mean, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Well, this completes our tour of this 65 foot bearing. I know you guys must have enjoyed this one. I know Rico was like drooling over the engine room. This yacht is for sale. And if you guys are interested, all the contact information is in the description underneath the video. We always appreciate you guys taking a second to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share. The sharing really means a lot. Thank you for doing it. Yeah, enjoy the outtakes. Yeah. Enjoy the outtakes. We are going to the next yacht and it's a big sailing catamaran. Mm. Ooh. All right. We are in beautiful, hot and sunny Florida and what? And we're here to show you this very interesting explore yacht. This very interesting explore yacht. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a boat. lot of volume. Yeah. It's a lot of volume. Volume. It has the trawler explorer yard feel with a touch of modern. Sure. Yeah. Check out the staterooms. <laughs> we are so close. Oof. Can you look here real quick? Can you do it there? Oh, just one finger. And now it's done here. Do it again. Yeah, now it's gone. Ooh. What looks cool? Oh, that's really bright. Oh, I can do this. No, I gotta get my sunglasses. Um, I'll grab my sunglasses. Just really? Stay. Okay. And I like that it has the two equal um, staircases. Stair what? Staircases. Okay. You know. <laughs> Got killed by a rope. <laughs> Beefy feel. Yep. And uh, it's um, we, uh, no anchor windless. It's no windless assist, right? Anchor windless. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Yeah, just a plane. <laughs> yeah, and... Come on, that blue. <sighs> Hold for the plane. Hold for the plane. Yeah. If you can tell, we're pretty close to Fort Lauderdale International Airport. And, uh, uh, outtakes, what else? Outtakes. Oh, Instagram. Check out our Instagram pages. Instagram. Mine and Rico's, and what else? 